and 44 is senior Chris O'Quinn, the other starter. So it's Myers, Jones, Holly, Thompson, and O'Quinn. Now four. The LPD champion and tournament champion, Gate City Blue Devils. Yeah, it's nice to see a lot of the Titan fans that have stuck around. Stayed right here. Jesse McMurray will open up one guard for the Blue Devils. At the other guard will be senior Nate Clark. At the forwards will be 22, Josh Kilgore, 24, Mark Estep. Gilgore Jr., East Step the senior, and at the post will be 34 senior Will Humphreys. The Blue Devils, of course, coached by Scotty Vermillion, and the Hayside Tigers coached by David Sutherland. And Coach Sutherland has missed the last 11 games last season. And that's, that with, doesn't from, happen often. From anymore. cancer. Uh, so. Good to see him back. Sometimes it's not all about winning and losing the contest. Yeah, the, you got to think about the big battle. Yeah, winning and losing uh, the battle of life is a little more important, I believe. Yes. So Hayside makes their way on to the floor. Coach mm -hmm. Vermillion with some final words for the Blue Devils. Chuck Starnes. Chuck Starnes, John Altizer, and... I know this other guy's name. It like might come to us. Yep. I'll think of it. If he does something wrong, I'll think of it. I'll, it'll come to me. Well, if he does something wrong, I know the name, but <laughs> it ain't him. So, referees instructing the cheerleaders to stay off the painted area that surrounds the floor. Yeah, I noticed uh, Twin Valley didn't have cheerleaders. Yeah, they do. They're over here beside the Blue Devils. Oh, okay. No, that's, the, that's Hayside. That's Hayside. They were down here behind the goal. Oh, I remember. So, getting a few more people in the crowd here. And that was Twin Springs, surely, behind the goal. Set to go. Luke Humphreys actually gets the start tonight. Tip up, and it'll be re-tipped again as neither O'Quinn or Kilgore make contact with it. Toss up, and this time it's controlled by Hayside. Byers has it, gets it over to Kylie, and he don't. He throws it in backcourt. And it'll be over and back, and it'll belong to Gate City. Turnover number one. So let's see who guards McMurray. And then see if Hayside plays zone or man or box or what are we going to do? Box and run. Oh, go man to man. Here's Kilgore and Lobb. Good. Yeah. Good. Kilgore. Colley just got lost. Kilgore with the bucket. Now, Hayside with it. Jacob Colley stops, spots his jumper, won't go. Rebound fought for. Last touch by, well, it was touched by Hayside, and then they say Jesse McMurray steps out of bounds. Yeah, that was a late call. Well, he got the rebound inbounds, but as he drove down the sideline, then Chuck Starn said he stepped out of bounds. So the Tigers with it. Jones to throw it in. Jones looks, gets it in to Collie. Collie played by Luke Humphrey. Collie drives along the baseline, cut off, can't shoot, back to Byers. His jumper up from the free throw line, won't go. Rebound fought for, coming out of there with it. Hayside, that's Compton. Here's the shot up. Bank shot for three by Ryan Jones. Quickly the other way with it. Marquis Step has it, gets it back to Clark. Clark out on top, Kilgore. Kilgore puts it on the floor. Can't make a move. Picks up his dribble. Needs help. Ball tipped. Falling away by Colley. Colley steals it from Kilgore. We come up the floor. Virus has it. Virus leads it off right side to Jones. Back to Colley. Colley off the screen. Drives in. Shot up off the glass. No good. Rebound. That's Kilgore with it. And he's fouled. Colley picks up the foul. Jacob Colley, his first. You know, they definitely don't need to get him in foul trouble. Now, if Cowley's going to play Kilgore man-on-man, -man, Kilgore's got the quickness advantage. I'd, I'd see what I could do right here. Clark off the double screen for Gates City. Has it left side. Gets it to McMurray. McMurray circles right side with it. Left alone. Shot for three. Won't go. Rebound Jones for Hayside. Jones gets it over to Byers. Byers will bring it up the floor. Gets it to Collie. Collie drives along the baseline. Stops. Can't shoot. Gets it back out to Byers. Swinging around left side 
That's Compton with it. Compton now to Colley along the baseline. Colley, 12 footer, good. Robbie Colley, uh, not Robbie, that probably was his brother. Jacob Colley with the bucket. Clark over to East Step, 5 2, Hayside leads. East Step puts it on the floor. He's shoved and fouled by Lance Compton. Foul on Compton will be his first. And the team's first. Jamie Hackney into the lineup. Mark Eastep will check out. Nate Clark to throw it in. He played two minutes, 5-2 to score Hayside lead. Hackney for Gate City with it. Gets it over to McMurray. McMurray circles out between the rings. Now it's a 2-3 zone by Hayside. Hackney gets it over to McMurray. McMurray stops. Stops for three. Shot long. No good. Rebound run down in the corner. Jones has it. Swings it back over to Colley. Long pass in front court to Byers. Byers drives along the baseline, has it stripped out of his hands, out of bounds by Clark. It'll belong to the Tigers. Not quick, nice quick move by Nate to knock it out of his hands. Byers lobs it in to Colley. Colley takes it in the lane, shoots over Humphreys. Good. Jacob Colley with the bucket. They have seven. It's seven to two. Hayside. Clark has it for the Blue Devils. Clark has it head of the key. Now backs it back out. Now Hayside's going man to man. Here's Kilgore, spins in the lane. His shot up good. good. Now Kilgore with four. Four or seven to four. Colley gets it right side to Jones. Jones puts a move on Clark, can't shoot. Looks for Colley, gets it to Colley. Now back to Jones. Jones drives into the lane and his underhand scoop shot good. Ryan Jones with the bucket, and here's the pass stolen away by Colley. Coming up with it, Compton. Compton gets it over to Colley. Colley, and he'll be fouled. Foul will be on the Blue Devils. 22. Josh Kilgore, his first. Okay, he said he took a 2-0 lead. Bateman, Will Humphreys, Tyler Parks in for Gate City. Hackney and McMurray stay in. Byers gets the pass in to Colley. Colley now guarded by Will Humphrey. Colley stops, spot 16-footer, won't go. Rebound, McMurray shoved and fouled over the back. Is that number 40? Compton. 40, Compton. Second. So Gate City with it, trailing by five. Four and a half to go here in the first quarter. Parks for the Blue Devils. Now here's Hackney, puts it on the floor and walks. Third turnover for Gate City. Tell you what Hayside's doing, guys. They're changing their defense every trip down court. 2-3 zone, man-to-man, -man, boxing one. Every trip, they don't play the same defense twice. Byers has it for Hayside. Gets it right side to Colley. He's guarded now by Bateman. Byers with it. He has the ball tipped. Hackney comes up with the steal, get it over to Park. He said he wants to run. Parks gets it over to Bateman. Bateman stops his jumper up, missed everything. Ball on the floor. Bateman saves it. Yeah, it's and good comes move. Out with it. Parks gets it over to McMurray. McMurray, right corner with it. Humphreys gets it back to McMurray. Swinging around head of the key now. Parks left side with it. Bateman. Bateman works it out front to McMurray. Stops. Wide right open. Good. Oh. Rebound pulled out our Compton. So it's one I shot and done. McMurray 0 for 3. I thought that was going. Right side with it, Byers gets it to Colley. Guess he'll get hot here in a minute. Jones with it. Jones has the ball stolen away by Parks. Parks drives all the way down his shot off a of glass. Miss! Oh. Rebound Hackney, and he can't control it, and it goes off Gate City out of bounds. Yes, it did. So Gate City a little, not, not shooting the ball well here early. And they, they have to shoot the ball well because they're, uh, they, you know, they're, as far as their board work goes, uh, it's 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 tough for Gate City to out rebound many teams. I mean, that was a gimme. So it's nine to four. Hayside leads here early, three and a half to go, first quarter. Byers has it. He's guarded by Clark now. Byers has it out front, picks up his dribble now, gets it over to O'Quinn now, back to Byers. Byers puts it on the floor, hands it off to Kylie. Colley steps out of bounds. Yeah, Nate almost stole the basketball, too. But the good pressure there helped the turnover. Now Michael Rogers in for Jesse McMurray. 
Clark has it for Gate City. Gate City only four points here in the first five minutes. Clark puts it on the floor, takes it down the lane, stops, shoots, and scores. Good. 9-6 is scoring. And Nate's good from three-point range, too. Flyers directs a little traffic. He'll be picked up by Clark at the mid-court line. Flyers with it, out front, picks up his dribble, gets it to Kylie. I call those two names a lot, I can tell. Kylie gets it over to O'Quinn. O'Quinn, five-second count on, puts it on the floor, and gets it over here in the corner to Jones. Jones has it go off his foot, gets it back. Jones throws up a jumper, won't go. Rebound and will be pulled out of there by the Hayside. A foul will be called on Michael Rogers. A lot of substitutions so far for Gage City. Josh Kilgore back for Logan Bateman. Byers to throw it in, and it hits off the bottom of the backboard. Gate City's Rogers has it, and he shoved and fouled. Who is it? Uh, I believe it's Colin. No, 44. They're going to call it on Chris O'Quinn. His first, team's forward. 32 into the lineup. Brandon Barton for Hayside. So scores 9-6. Gate City trails. 2.20 to go here in the first quarter. Josh Kilgore has it. Kilgore drives in the lane, stops, leaves it off. Over here, Will Humphreys is jumping no good. Rebound tipped around, coming out of there with it, Hayside. Hayside has the ball, stolen away by Kilgore, gets it to Clark, stolen away from Clark by Colley. Colley lobs it in front court to Byers, stops, pops, 18-footer, shot no good, rebound Will Humphreys for the Blue Devils. Humphreys gets it over to Clark. Clark with it in front court, left alone for three, didn't take it, gets it to Humphreys. Humphreys drives down, low shot blocked away, foul called on Chris O'Quinn, his second. Nice move down the lane by Will. <laughs> Score remains 9-6, to 6, 153 to go here in the first quarter. Now, he needs to make the free throws. And we need every one of them. Will Humphreys, eyes the mark. Good. Good. Couldn't be better. Substitutions, Eastep and McMurray back in for Gate City. Out O'Quinn in. I'll get that number in a minute for Hayside. Oh. Humphreys, second free throw on the way. No good. Rebound. Coming out there with it, Mark Eastep. Yeah, deflected off of Nate Clark for three. No good. Rebound tipped around. McMurray has it. Head of the key. Has the ball stripped. Stolen away. Foul call. Had to be. Foul will be on Ryan Jones. He is first. That's already the team's sixth foul. Gate City will have it. McMurray to throw it in underneath his own bucket to the right. McMurray gets it in to Humphreys. Back to Clark. Clark gets it back to McMurray. Jesse right side now between the rings. Kilgore. Kilgore spins into the lane. This is off the east step. Drives down low. His jumper up. Won't go. Kilgore had a hand on it. Collie comes out there with it though. Collie long pass in front court to Jones. Jones stops. Pop 15 footer good. Ryan Jones with seven. And it's 11-7. Eastep drives into the lane. His shot up, no good. Blocked away by Collie. Coming out there with it, nobody. Hayside will finally come up with it. Byers has it. Byers gets a pass in front court. Jones quickly along the baseline. That's Barton. Barton hands it back to Jones. Jones can't shoot. Lobs it down low to Collie. Collie dishes off down low. Ball on the floor. Held ball. Coming out there with it, nobody. Gates at his Eastep finally comes out there with it. We've got bodies everywhere all over the floor. And now, the Gates City playing a little shorthanded is... Here's McMurray driving down the lane, and he'll be fouled by 32, Brandon Martin. That's his first. Jesse McMurray to the line to shoot one and one. They said he was shorthanded because they had two players on the floor down here, and, and, and both, all three of the players, two for Gate City and, and one for Hayside, were being so careful not to try to, 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 to do anything there uh, to, to create a foul, and it took them a while to get up. This is WGAT Gate City game brought to you in part by Coleman and St. Martin, Attorney Salon, downtown Gate City. So we're about to come to the end of the first quarter. Jesse McMurray, free throw. Good. So McMurray in the scoring column now for the Blue Devils. Yeah, who would have thought that? 48 seconds ago in the first quarter. Correction on that last foul. It was on Kevin Byers. 
free throw, Mike Murray, good. Let's score 11 9. 49 seconds to go. First quarter, Gate City trading by two. Hayside has it. Vires with it. Vires puts a move on Parks, gets it over here right side. Now back to Collie. Collie drives down the lane. Now with it, that's Barton. Barton hounded out by McMurray. Five second count on. Gets it over to Jones. Ball on the floor. Fault four. Ball still on the floor. Coming out of there with it. Hayside has, has it tipped, and then the ball will be stolen away by McMurray. McMurray will drive for the uncontested. Yeah. Time to score. Hayside just quit on that loose ball, didn't he? Yes. Byers has it. Byers hounded by Parks as he crosses the timeline with it. Crossover dribble. Now gets it left side. Jones. Here's the shot for three. Won't go. Rebound coming out of there with it. Hayside shot up. No good. Rebound. Pulled out of there. Parks for the Blue Devils. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with a score. The Hayside Tigers 11. The Gate City Blue Devils 11. We'll be back. Minute break. Set to begin the second quarter, Gate City and Hayside tied at 11. Gate City was down nine to four. And the Devils have it. Here's Hackney, puts the ball on the floor, baseline jumper blocked away. Coming out of there with it, Hayside's Jones. Anderson blocked the shot. Colley has it. Colley drives, stops, stops. 15 footer, won't go. Hackney has a hand on it. Colley crashes the boards. Hayside has it, shot up good by Andrew Anderson, and what do we have? Ball off out of bounds by Gate City's Clark. Seventh turnover. Hayside with four. Clark is arguing that it was touched. And evidently the ball must have been touched. Nate wouldn't say that, uh, that emphatically if it wasn't. Here's Byers open for the three, shotgun. Kevin Byers for three, and quickly, Hayside back by five. They scored five points in the first 20 seconds of the quarter. Clark has it for Gate City. Clark gets it to Will Humphreys. Now over to McMurray. McMurray guarded by Byers now. McMurray circles left corner. Now back to Hackney. Hackney gets it down low to Will Humphreys. Will stops. His shot off the glass good. Good. Will Humphreys with the bucket, make it 16-13, Hayside, seven minutes to go, first half. Byers has it for the Tigers. Byers gets it out front, down low to Collie, shot up good, that's too easy. Yeah, got it over Bateman. Yeah, that's defensive mismatch. Here's McMurray, has the ball stolen away or tipped away from him, a foul will be called. Kevin Byers picks up his second. Jesse McMurray will go to the line to shoot one and one. Yeah, Jesse strong down the lane. And you can hear the Tiger fans wanting to charge. I've got the official's name. It's the other official's name's Jeff Hurst. <coughs> and not because that was a bad call. That was a good call. That, in fact, he didn't make it anyway. So McMurray shooting one and one. First, good. Tigers lead to four. Jesse scoreless from beyond the arc. McMurray's free throw, good. So McMurray has six. Gate City trails by three. Kilgore in for Hackney for Gate City. Jesse's had some open looks, but hadn't found the mark yet. In the lineup for Hayside will be Josh Wallace. Okay, Virus plays with two fouls. If you're a Gate City fan, you'd like to see him get another one in a hurry. Tyler has it now. He'll be guarded by Luke Humphreys. Humphreys has Tyler pretty well surrounded. Tyler misses the jumper. Humphreys will with the rebound. Gets it over to Jesse. Jesse hands it over to Kilgore. Kilgore gets it back to McMurray. McMurray stands between the rings with it. McMurray stops, spots, head of the key, shot. Yeah. It rattled, but it fell. That tied the score at 18. 6-10 to go, first half. Compton on the inbounds, gets it in to Byers. Meet City will have Clark to pick up Byers as he comes across the timeline. Byers 
out front, picks up his dribble, needs help, and here comes Compton to help him. Compton has it, guarded by Kilgore, gets it to right side to Collie, open for the three, shot won't go. Rebound over the back was Anderson, controls it. Yeah, all it, over Will. Gets it to Byers. Byers, they're going to have a foul called on the Blue Devils. 33, Luke Humphreys picks up the foul. His first. Coach Vermillion says, what about that over the back on that rebound? Exactly. Over yes, a no call. That was very obvious. So Haysai has it in a tie game at 18, 5.37 to go here in the first half. Byers to throw it in. Gets it in to Anderson. He's left alone for the three shot, way short. Humphreys boxes out, gets a rebound, gets it over to Clark. Clark hands it off to McMurray. McMurray penetrates, gets it right corner to Clark. Clark with it, looks for a cutter. Now out on top, Luke Humphreys. Luke puts it on the floor. Into the lane, spin move, left hand shot. Hey, 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 hey. Inside play has been good by the Humphreys. Kylie has it, gets it over right side. Here's a long three, won't go. And we're gonna have a foul called on Kylie. You got him. Holding Luke Humphreys. Foul on Collie's his second. Don't know what he was a thinking there. That's a nice team foul. And that'll be a one and one, and I guess it will be, it's one of the Humphreys. We'll be shooting one and one, but not before we have a timeout on the floor. 20 to 18, Gate City leads. We'll be back in 30 seconds. And the Blue Devils with the lead now, 20 to 18, and it'll be Jesse McMurray to shoot the one and one, and most of that time out was taken by Hayside to have a word with official Starnes pointing out that Gate City has three team fouls and their team has nine. Free throw by Hump, or, uh, McMurray is good. And almost rolled back off the front of the iron. And mark it down with 5.02 to go here in the first yeah, half. Yeah, watch them it'll, even up. It'll even up now. Free throw, McMurray, good. But now, I, I haven't seen a foul yet that was called that shouldn't be by either team. Jones has it, gets it over to Compton. Compton to Collie. Collie drives in the lane, his jumper up, won't go. And we're going to have a foul called on Compton, shoving Humphreys out of the way. Obvious foul on Lance Compton. Will Humphreys will go to the other end to shoot one and one. That's Compton's third foul. Will and Luke. Well, to talk to uh, official Starnes didn't work out well, that, that He's was, going to call it like he well, says. Well, that it. was clearly a foul down there on that end, too. The thing is, uh, Will and Luke do such a good job of using what body they've got to box out. They, they, they work so hard. Free throw oh, by Will is no sure. good. Need a little more oomph on that one. 44, Chris O'Quinn back in the lineup. He with two fouls. So Will set for a second. Gates City, their biggest lead of the night. It's four. Free throw, good. Okay, five. 23-18. So Hayside with it. Kevin Byers. Byers works it up the floor. Picks up his dribble. Looks for Collie, no doubt. Gets it to Collie. And he'll be fouled by Lou Comfrey. This second. And official Altizer gets a standing ovation. And there'll be another one right here in just a minute. A little touch foul. And then they'll consider it even. <laughs> Gate City leads by five. Ryan Jones to throw it in for Hayside. Jones looks, looks, gets it in to Collie finally. Collie drives along the baseline. This is off down low for the shot off the glass. Good by O'Quinn. Nice assist. Chris O'Quinn with his first bucket. McMurray for Gate City. Picks up his dribble, gets it to Luke Humphrey, swinging around right side to Parks. Parks out on top, McMurray thought about the three. Now he'll shoot the three. Shot by Jesse, won't go. Rebound, Polly for Hayside. Quickly in front court, Jones. A long three, won't go. Rebound over the back. Hayside gets it, shot up by Jones again, no good. McMurray catches the ball. Yeah, it's off the backboard of McMurray. Oh, a little bit too hard on that pass. McMurray tries to get it down low to Humphreys, and Luke can't catch it. Rogers in for McMurray, and we'll have a timeout on the floor. Gate City leads 23-20, back in 30 seconds. 
23-20, Hayside trails Gate City. Four minutes to go. First half, they have the ball. Byers with it. Byers gets it to Colley. Colley's baseline jumper, no good. He's fouled by Logan Bateman. It'll be Bateman's first foul. Got him on the hand. On the jumper. <laughs> so, Jacob Colley to shoot two. Free throw, good. Colley has seven, makes it a 23-21 game. Colley second, no good. Rebound, Luke Humphreys for Gate City. Gets it over to Bateman. Bateman races all the way down the floor, shot off the glass, no good. missed it. Rebound Colley quickly the other way. Here comes Byers. Byers works against Sparks, takes it all the way to the hole. Shot up, offensive foul called on Kevin Byers, and that'll be three on Byers. Yes, it will. He's a starter, and it appears uh, Hayside doesn't have a whole lot of depth. Uh, especially at the guard play. Let's see where, you know, Byers will sit, and Josh Wallace will check in. So Gate City has it with a two-point lead. They've had the ball two or three times with a chance to extend this lead and haven't been able to do it. Yeah, missed two or three easy layups, too. Clark gets it over in the corner to McMurray. McMurray down low to Luke Humphreys. The left-handed good. shot good over Collins. Boy, 25-21. That, that was a dandy move by Humphreys. Used that left-handed scoop shot, put it in the bottom of the bucket. Now Ryan Jones will run the point. See, that's another thing. Byers is the point guard. Collie has it. Drives along the baseline. Stocks can't shoot. Got to be somebody open. It's Jones. 4-3. Good. And he's not, he's not fouled. The three by Jones is good, and the foul will be called on Gate City. Away from the ball, the foul will be on Logan Bateman. Bateman picks up his second. Yeah, he shoved Kylie out of bounds. That's 10 points by Jones. It'll be... Hayside's basketball, trailing by one, three minutes to go first half. Colley stops, pop, 16-footer, bang. Jacob Colley with the bucket, and quickly Hayside gets that way, back on top. They score five unanswered. Went from four down to one up before Geek City could get it on the offensive end. McMurray with it. McMurray stops, pops head of the key for three, no good. Rebound fought for, Colley comes out there with it for Hayside. Collie behind the back dribble, drive, stop, spot, 17-footer, bang. <coughs> Jacob Collie with the bucket. Makes it 28-25, Hayside. He's a player, folks. Don't let anybody tell you he's not. He's a good one. Clark has it, gets it over to East Step. East Step to Clark. Clark has it. Now hands it off to Mike Murray. Hits it down low. Here's a shot up. No good by uh, Will Humphreys, but he's fouled. 44. That's O'Quinn picks up his third. Third. Yes. That puts three people with three fouls for the Hayside Tigers. 